So Danny, tell me what NVIDIA is doing new and different with Volvo on the EX90. We are showing the new AI brain of the new EX90. So this is the Drive Flat Org. It's our Drive Orin. And it's running at a rate of 250 tops. So that's 250 trillion operations per second. It's a massive amount of computing. And that's because we're running AI algorithms to process all the data coming in through the sensors of the vehicle, the surround cameras, the radar, the LIDAR, the ultrasonic, and using artificial intelligence to be able to understand what's happening around the car. So is there a child about to run out in front of us? Where are the lane markers, sign recognition, other objects, there are motorcycles, splitting lanes, whatever it is. So we've developed this platform. We'll work with Volvo. They're using our DriveOS software and they build their software stack on top. So it's a true collaboration, which is great. It's a centralized computer though. So that's unique. It's the core computer. It makes it much easier to develop. It's much more efficient. It's easier to update with software over the air than having a bunch of different ECUs all over the car. Ultimately, it's more cost effective, it's more energy efficient, and it becomes something then that Volvo can continually update, make the car better and better and better. So when you drive the car off the lot, it's at its most base level, and over time, it gets better with the software ups. And you're bringing uh, generative AI into this as well, right? So there's really three computers needed to develop any kind of automated or autonomous. So this is the computer that goes in the car that runs it. But before we even get to that, we need to work in a data center where we're collecting data, labeling that data, training data to build the AI models to understand the environment and all the different features and functions you want to perform. And then there's another data center computer that's used for testing and validation. We'll use simulation for that computer. So there's a lot of compute for training, for testing and validating, and then it gets deployed in the vehicle. And so generative AI can be used in the training process for generating synthetic data. You know, it's really hard to get a lot of data of people running in front of cars. <laughs> it just doesn't happen. But you need to make sure that the car will detect that and stop. You want to teach it the edge cases. Absolutely. So the edge cases don't happen in the real world, but we can generate edge cases 24-7 in simulation. And generative AI gives us the ability to drive a particular route ingest that data and create an infinite number of permutations of that drive and change different variables. We can change the weather. We can change the other cars in the scene. And so some data collection is real and then we augment that through generative AI. Okay, so your, your NVIDIA is making all these chips. Uh, how much software do you get involved in? It's, it's a massive software effort. We have thousands of software engineers. It's being safety certified, so our drive OS has to be ISO 26262. And we're working through the whole process, the documentation, and working with our partners to be able to then have their sensors be integrated and also go through that same safety process. And then Volvo is building their application layer on top of our flag layer. There's uh, a number of automakers saying they want to bring all the software in-house. They always cite Tesla, for example. Do you see that happening, or do you think they're still going to rely on NVIDIA? Um, we, we have a lot of customers that we work with. It's, it's a little different. Some, we develop the whole stack, top to bottom, but it's modular. We have our drive OS, we have our processors, we have our drive works libraries, and we have the application layer. So we're working with other automakers doing the whole stack. Volvo, it's a hybrid. Some just buy our chips and do their own software. So we really work with different companies in different ways. Everyone has their own business model and we're very flexible in that regard. We're good. Danny, thanks for your time. My pleasure, Tom.